Good day tarot friends, another day is over, another day is ending and uh, I hope things get got well with you, the, the day has been uh, quite gentle for those of you who have uh, taken the weekend as an opportunity to rest, uh, I am happy that you did. Now. Uh, we are going to end the day. I'd like to invite you to end the day with a short and sweet tarot reading. Huh? Uh, our oracle card for today is uh, the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Huh? We've already shuffled it and uh, we will try. We shuffled it before, we shuffled it again, and then we will try to see now what is our message. Huh? As for our tarot reading. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what happened to your recent past. Okay, so in your recent past, no, you were in a position like the handman. You were looking at life in a different point of view you had a different perspective no? quite different from the from the rest no and uh yes you have been spending some time as a in contemplation and uh at the same time you seem to be in command of your life at right right now at this time uh, you are on fire and you are not afraid to be different uh, we have here the king of wands we have the hangman so you were looking at life with the view of the hangman you are looking at life at a different point of view uh, quite different from you usually would have looked at it and at the same time no you were in touch with your inner self and you are on fire no, you you were in command of your situation and at the same time you also made sure that uh, you are living an upright life I mean a, a life that is uh, quite exemplary right now no you seem to be able to speak also and uh, speak your mind but at the same time you try to be uh, just and, and, and uh, uh, fair to everyone that you are encountering each day. No? So very nice cards. The Hangman, the King of Wands and Justice. Now let's see. See, you, see you, 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 you have the Emperor also. So you see you already have three major arcana cards no? and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, you have been quite very dependable this day. Uh, you have been very productive no you see here the knight of pentacles he had made sure that the land is already cultivated and prepared for planting he is contemplating for future profits no? so this has been uh, the, the knight of pentacles is a symbolism of somebody who's dependable you can depend on them they work slowly but surely okay so it seems that you have been this weekend no you you have despite of those moments that you've spent in rest you've also been very very uh, uh you have anticipated everything you seem to have prepared everything no and uh, you are in the emperor mode right now no you know uh, you know what to do and you seem to be in command right now of your life and uh things are well quite quite organized right now now let's see so in the near future because of this preparation that you've made it seems that your future is promising and uh, you are a little bit more relaxed right now so i feel that this coming week hmm, this coming week will be a week wherein you feel a little bit more secure because you have prepared everything before the week have begun uh congratulations it's very nice i mean <laughs> Uh, the past readings we've had you've had a lot of challenges and you were tired and you rested and when you rested immediately this is the result you uh, immediately bounce back and you are now in control uh, congratulations now let us see what is the advice of the universe for us today caterpillar <clears throat> so opportunity so you are <clears throat> you seem to have undergone transformation the caterpillar is the one that is ready to be transformed into a butterfly you know? so it seems that you have prepared everything and you are ready for the 
pros, uh, for the prosperity or success that awaits you because you have prepared everything. The caterpillar have eaten enough nutrients so that she can already enter the cocoon for the transformation into a butterfly. So yeah, it supports what you are here, no? Uh, you have been doing here. It seems that you you have already prepared the ground for the plant to be planted and the transformation which is the prosperity awaits you. Uh, holy bone, teachability. This I think is related to the hangman. No? You are open to all possibilities. I think uh, this is also telling you to continue to be docile to the spirit, to allow the spirit to to fill up what is lacking in you and to guide you through the process of journey of this towards this dream that you have, are having right now, towards this prosperity that you could already almost taste and feel, almost feel in your hands. No, you are like the hollow bone. No, a hollow bone is like a hollow vessel. No, it's like a cup that is waiting to be filled up. No, you are open. You are very disponible. You are uh, open to the spirit. You are uh, open to the divine to fill up your cup. It is very nice. I mean, your readiness to it and the closing door, completion. So whatever difficulty you had in the past, no. It's about to close and it's about to complete and you are ready to welcome the new chapter. And then here, deep quiet, meditation and stillness. I think you are that. No, you are able to balance things right now. Uh, the hanged man is the symbolism of the deep quiet and meditation you have. Now, the king of wands also, he seems to be very stable. Justice, the knight of pentacles, emperor. All of these seems to be cards that are symbolism of a person who is very still, who is in touch with their inner selves, no? Uh, a person who is in touch with his inner self. You see here the salamander, no? The salamander can go through fire and not get hurt. It means uh, there is a certain magical power in it also. So in a certain sense, you are in touch with the divine and you are protected, no? So in a certain sense, I think you are entering this week in a sense of balance in a sense of preparedness, you are not afraid that the door is closing because you are already anticipating the new chapter that is opening before you. This, I feel, is going to be a beautiful week for you. There might be challenges, like for example, the land is tilled, but you still have to plant things, no? so you're going to have to exert some efforts to do it. No, But continue to have this outlook of looking at things in a different point of view, Continue to be contemplative, continue to maintain this quietness by continuing to have this, this uh, uh, intuitive act, intuitive spirit amidst your activities in the world. Uh, disponibility for uh, willingness to let the spirit guide you so that you will be able to make this transformation. So here, so this is the caterpillar. This is the hollow bone. The closing door and deep quiet beautiful well that's it right now uh, thank you i i uh, uh, you've done well i mean uh, i thought your weekend will be uh your weekend will just be a, a a time of rest but the time of rest seems to have made you even more productive so good it's a good thing that you did some rest no uh good luck good luck for this week and i uh, hope to see you again tomorrow for our a uh, timeless tarot to go. Until next time, have a beautiful week.